Hey everybody, um, just wanted to share some quick thoughts that I've been having about um, portals in Valheim and how to embed them in sort of a Greek style temple. All the columns and uh, fun stuff like that. So uh, what you see here is my first attempt. This is using black marble from the Mistlands, um, mostly because it has these cool um, diagonal pieces in it and I think that they're nice. You could do this with just stone uh, but I think it would be maybe a little bit less compelling because it would just look like a rectangular slot um, that you sort of shuffle through. Anyway, so um, this is my first idea. Um, this has a nice little gemstone shape to it. Um, downside of this guy is when it's off and it's dark you really can't see that text in the middle. Um, when we go over here, this is my second attempt. I put a white backing on it and then a black face. Um, it is three three units wide, although if you use these white blocks, I don't really like the look of the raw stone, so um, I put those blocks back there. So this one's four units deep, but whatever, no big deal. Um, and actually, I find this pretty compelling. Um, this one's nice. So I thought I would build one with a little more lighting effects to sort of fix this problem uh, because I do like the black background. I find that the, the fire effect in this is much nicer than it is in this. So we come to the third one. Um, I'll show you how to build sort of my final version in just a moment. Okay, so here is the final version. Um, it looks pretty nice. There are some variants that I could easily see doing with this. Uh, for instance, um, cutting it down on the top to sort of uh, hide the portal a little bit more. Um, right now you really can't see any of the wooden portal ring, which for some is uh, important. Uh, for me, I feel like this is maybe a little too um, claustrophobic. So I didn't do that, but we're going to pull away the, uh, the curtain here. Um, so that we can all see how it's built. So it's pretty simple. Um, basically you want your floor to be these double blocks and then single blocks and double blocks so that everything is nice and symmetrical. Um, you build this by putting in your floor first obviously and then at some point building this backstop um, again out of double blocks and then single blocks and then double blocks. Um, and as soon as you've got that in place you um, can put together your front cornices. Um, this will help you place the um, portal. So you'll take your portal, you'll slide it as far forward as possible until it you know, turns red and then move it back a scotch and place it down. Um, and then once you're there, you just put in your roof, but a dunk and then you can put in your top cornices attached to the roof like so and you basically have all the standard stuff in here um, at this point you can seal it up and call it good or you can put in your lighting and other effects so the lighting and other effects um, are relatively simple um, there are two pieces to this first one is once you've got um, your portal in, you can take one of these spirit lamps and basically slide it along the floor. I don't like it clipping through the portal um, so that it's visible on the front, so I kind of like having it embedded there, but uh, your taste may take it in a different direction. Um, so, yeah, that's great and sits there nicely. Second piece that um, I like using are these um, Dverger lanterns, largely because they don't need fuel. Um, so I find that just sticking it right here on this seam um, puts it in a nice spot. Uh, I try to make sure this one's obscured by these lanterns, but I try to make sure that it's sort of as close as I can make it without um, sticking out. Uh, so that you'll be able to see it, or it'll be too obvious. Um, and then this one, the portal is holding these signs up, but normally you would have, um, well, I'll just put in this cornice here. 
for me to attach the signs to. So basically, I've put in these uh, these two signs, one here and one here. Um, and then if you're not familiar with this, you can put in short bits of text with a lot of spaces afterwards, and it will um, punchy, punchy. It'll nudge the text out so that it's sort of flying in three dimensions, which is neato skeeto. Um, yeah, so you can do that. Uh, throw in your two lanterns on either side, build all your stuff, uh, and then sort of seal it all up if you so desire. Um, or you can leave the magic visible, but I kind of like being able to seal it up. So then you've got all your, your walls built, and you end up with this very nice looking um, portal here. Um, and it's really much more visible than this one. This one you can only see Moria when it's lit, which, you know, may be your, your goal, but I really appreciate this one. Um, that's all I've got for you. So uh, hope you've enjoyed the build, and uh, maybe I'll see you later.